All right, this video is for uh, Dick Bromberg, and he, he wants to make one of these little uh, bull motors, and uh, he's got the Koa Wood Bull already. And remember, this was Jack uh, Schultz's uh, design. I didn't uh, design this, Jack did, and then we've just uh, finally got around to building one of these things, but he, he has his little Koa Wood Bull motor uh, shown running on all kinds of circuits. And I showed it running on this uh, bifiler coil circuit with a one transistor and running it on three volts. And then, of course, a capacitor, super capacitor, uh, can hold the three volts and then run uh, run the, uh, the little motor on just the capacitor alone. But Dick was having trouble with the circuit, so I drew the circuit up for him here. And it is a very simple um, bifiler air core coil with no core in it circuit with one transistor. It's an NPN uh, transistor. I'm using a 2N222. It's an old one. But you can use all different kinds of these uh, small switching transistors. It'll run on 3 to 6 volts. Uh, this little bowl uh, has a ring magnet that's north-south on the outside faces. You could use a different kind of rotor and a different kind of system. And this circuit runs just fine. And it'll also self-oscillate too. Um, I just called this a simple bowl motor circuit, the electronic version. And Jack has shown this with the, uh, the uh, Newman motor uh, uh, commutator brush system too. But um, this is the key to it here. You've got to do something like this. The both coils are wound together. They don't have to be lits wound. You just wind them all up together on a spool. Uh, this happens to be about a one inch uh, diameter on the inside air core, but y it doesn't really matter. It'll work on a lot of things. Um, you need at least 300 turns of fine magnet wire, and it can't be bell wire with the vinyl coating. It has to be magnet wire with that enamel coating. 26 to 30 gauge on my particular motor. That's me. That's the date. And like I say, it's all wound up together on a spool, and I just use the uh, magnet wire spool that the Radio Shack wires come on. And if you get the Radio Shack package, uh, use the gold and the, uh, the uh, green wire together as the power coil, which is the one that goes to the collector. That's the red coil here. Just uh, splice them together and wind them all up. Then on the trigger coil, which is this blue wire, just use the red wire, which is the 30 gauge. And you need uh, a lot of turns with that fine wire to trigger that transistor. This is very, very similar to a Bedini SG circuit. Um, very, very, very similar. He uses a core on his designs, and I'm using an air core coil. This is also very familiar to some of the people that are familiar with those electronic um, kinetic toy circuits. And they use almost the identical circuit, uh, except they use a PNP normally here. Now this is the thing that John Bedini came up with, taking the flyback. This is the kickback for when that big coil collapses. And he takes this and puts it into a battery and then goes back into the plus rail as a charging system. I just take it as an LED indicator back to the plus rail. And that's just so that I can see the motor running more than anything. Um, it doesn't, in my opinion, make this run a longer time. It's just a way to see the motor running because you're dissipating the energy through the LED. Okay, here it is running. There's the, the LED going. There's the little bowl motor running. And if you have an AM radio, tune it to a null station. And it lets you hear the, the motor running and the firing of it. And if you put a potentiometer right in here, a 1K potentiometer, you can vary the frequency on this motor and the power consumption. This is the pure basic form of the circuit. Uh, if you, like I say, if you put a way to control it right in here with the potentiometer, uh, it makes it a lot more fun. But this is it running on just the capacitor without the batteries. It'll run on up to 6 volts. And there it is running on just the capacitor. Now, if I take this off, there's the motor, I mean the circuit in self-oscillation. The amp draw drops dramatically. It goes way on down into just a few milliamps when you're not driving a magnet rotor like this. Um, it drops way, way on down and uh, this will run a long, long time um, on just what's in that capacitor. 
And like I say, this is an air core coil. There's no core in it. It's just one of the spools that the wire comes on from Radio Shack. And you just wind up all the wire. You take all three coils and you put all three coils on there. But they're in two separate coils. Uh, there's one trigger and one power coil. And that's the circuit. That's the little um, simple bowl motor circuit that uh, I'm using on Jack Schultz's bowl motor design. And uh, that's a lot of fun. I recommend this little project to, to anybody. I don't care how old you are. Great fun project.